Some people say I should be bolder and I present to you my boldest move yet. No, I'm not talking about my head. I'm talking about my new track wheels, my ultra red 19 inch uh, OZ racing, ultra, ultra leggera wheels. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be mounting them on my uh, 981 Cayman S to get me ready for the track. We're gonna mount these on and uh, we're gonna take the car for a spin to see if it uh, makes a difference. No spacers needed because they should be spaced out just fine. And no pop centric rings because these are made for this car. Don't worry, we're gonna to torque everything after we drop the car. Ow. Ouch. Ouch, 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 my hand was stuck. And now with the power vested in me, I can raise the car. Do this little dance. And slowly drop it. There's nothing under the car. Nope. All right. Oof. I know it's gonna settle, so the wheel gap will not look as bad, but this is pretty cool. Before we get too excited, let's torque the wheels. Now that the twerking, torquing is done, we can slide it out and take the car out for a spin. So what do you think? As we let the car warm up, this is what these wheels look like. I gotta say, they look pretty cool. The offset looks very on point, and that is without spacers. I've got a lot of negative camera, both front and back, and that helps them get tucked in up top just a little bit. But look, they look very, very awesome. So now, the tire in the back is 285, 35, 19, whereas in the front, it's 245, 40, 19. And to those of you wanting to run wider wheels in the back of your Cayman, you're very limited because you see right there, see how much space. You can actually stick a finger in here, right there. That's how much space you have. So I wouldn't go much wider than, uh, than this. I don't know if it's the fact that I haven't driven this car in about a week and a half, or maybe it's because of the fact that I flushed the brake fluid, the clutch feels a lot firmer. I mean, it feels good, but definitely feels a lot firmer. If you haven't watched the brake jump video, I swapped these brakes to my Ferrodo DS 1.11 racing pads. And these pads are so awesome. I have to bet them in. And betting them in means doing a couple of stops from, uh, from 40, 50, 60 to 20, 30. You do a couple of these stops just to bet them in and oh my god if you're just looking for an upgrade to your brake pads Ferrodos are so good yes they'll dust your uh, your wheels quite a lot but for the track oh my god my face is going to the front of the car what a weird feeling i'm telling you what an improvement in braking feel compared to oem stock pads and sorry about the flying water bottles i guess i wasn't ready for this Ooh, let's try the brakes again. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is my Laguna Seca corkscrew. Ooh. Okay, these wheels will do just fine. I do have to update the tire settings in the computer because, uh, because the new tires and wheels need to be adapted to the computer. Sounds like there's a rock stuck in the back. Ah, great. Uh, let's spin the tires. <laughs> it's so funny. There's noise in the back. There's a rock stuck in the in the caliper. It seems like it. It's making a crazy noise. Quite embarrassing, actually. Yep, a 
lots of traction. Oh my God, this will feel so good at the track. Oh, these pads are amazing. Seriously. And brake, 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 brake. Whoa! Holy moly. I know I should be focusing on these wheels, but seriously, <laughs> the combination of these wheels and pads, <laughs> insane, absolutely insane. Love it, love this thing. So check this out. I was not lying when I said that these brake pads are super dusty. Look, we did about what, maybe 10 miles? This is what you get in 10 miles. Yes, but these are track pads. They're not made for street driving. If you're gonna street drive these pads, you have to deal with two things, a lot of brake dust and a lot of squeal, but you're gonna get the most amazing braking performance ever. So to some, it's worth it. To me, I don't know, I'm, I'm debating. But as we are looking at this side of the car, you may notice, what is this? What is this guy? Check this out. Do I have mud flaps on my Cayman? Just like I have on my M3, the answer is yes. I've been actually testing these for a while. This is a prototype that I'm running only for the front because what happens with the front is when you, especially when you put a wider tires or when you're at the track, all the gunk gets basically kicked up here. So this area gets pretty, uh, pretty badly damaged. I'm hoping that these flaps will protect me. Again, I am running tests. I'm running them on one side. I'm gonna run it through uh, different paces, different terrain, see how it compares. And if they work, I am gonna offer them for sale as I do with these. So stay tuned for that. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.